back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is jocelyn and i film a lot of beauty luxury and lifestyle videos so if you guys are interested please subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me so i just want to start off by saying i don't know if my shirt is too revealing um it's probably not the best for youtube but i hope that like you guys aren't taking offense to it but i just really like this style shirt so like i trying to like cover up low key even though i really like this shirt so please don't judge i just really like this shirt so in today's video i'm going to be unboxing a handbag that i have been dying to get and especially in this color and i'm so glad that i got it because i know that these handbags sell out so quickly as you guys can already tell by the title i'm unboxing a telfer bag or telfar i don't really know how to pronounce it or how people pronounce it but I'm gonna wing it I'm gonna go with the flow but it just came in the mail today and I'm super excited and I kind of did take a sneak peek so I hope none of you guys seen my dress on there because I wasn't covering it but um I'm maybe gonna have to put an edit or something over it it came in this plastic silver bag and it really just says what color it is and all that so i'm gonna keep the bag just in case like i don't really like the bag or i don't see it like fitting my style or if i sell it in the future i like to keep all of my um packaging when it comes to my handbags just in case next up we have the dust bag and it is so cute it's black and white and this is totally my vibe and it's really small i got the mini size as you guys can tell so when you open it up the bag looks Kind of like stuff this is what the bag looks like when you open it and it did have a it had like a little tape thing right on the back just to keep these two like kind of like intact if you know what i mean but i already took that off because again i did peek at this bag so this is what this beauty looks like i did get the bright orange color and i think it is so pretty and perfect for summer so let me go ahead and take this little strand off so it's a little misshaped and a little like curvy and wobbly but the straps is really long so i'm afraid that it's going to be too long for me because it's not adjustable so let me go ahead and shape the bag okay so this is what it looks like as an overview so i think this is the mini or small size i think it's called a small and this is the smallest bag that they have and they have a medium and large one but i thought this one would be so cute considering we're in a mini bag trend and i have a lot of mini handbags so it's kind of my style and I'm obsessed with this color it is just everything and it matches my shirt look so in order to like look in the bag you gotta like separate the straps kind of because it kind of gets like messy if you guys can like tell what I mean by in the video so this is what the inside of the bag looks like let's see what we have in here we have the tag and it just says the small shopper bag it says OG orange size zero then it has a couple of things in here it has like those like don't eat packets but on the inside they have this tag i think that's so cute and it just has like a nice touch when like looking inside so it's not just like plain orange but this bag has no inner pocket it's just one compartment in the middle so this is what the logo looks like it is in 3d so it's going to pop out and it's really cute when you turn it to the side there is a little indent right there but that's because of the way that it was folded when it was being shipped to me so hopefully that goes away and i can like kind of like straighten it out with like some stuffings or stuff in it the back is plain the black doesn't have anything and then again the sides are just normal so you do have the option to wear it crossbody or you can wear it with the mini straps right here so if you wear it with the mini straps like this you can tuck these long straps into the bag so you can kind of tuck the straps in into the interior of the bag so that you get like a mini shopping tote look and i think this is just so pretty and i'm so excited to wear this for summer but i will say like when you're stuffing the straps in it kind of takes up all the room low key unless there's like a better way that you can like organize the straps to fold it in so it doesn't take up as much room but um i'm just completely obsessed with this bag this is the size of the bag compared to my head so um you guys kind of get the point i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what fits in here so for the uh purpose of this video i'm just going to take out the straps and see what fits in without it just so you have like max room because i probably will be wearing this crossbody so firstly i'm going to see how much of my everyday essentials fit into the telfer bag from my everyday bag and this bag is the gucci neo vintage messenger bag 
and I'm completely obsessed with it and it holds so much but I carry a little bit more than what I need a lot of junk gets thrown in here the first thing that I have here is this YSL mini flap wallet I think this is called so it's really small um, it's really compact and that fits nicely in there and that is also my everyday wallet so I don't carry card holders just because I carry a lot of different cards so if you want to fit a compact wallet it definitely will fit and it's pretty thick so and I still have a bunch of room I don't know if you guys can tell I usually carry a hand sanitizer and um, a Carmex chapstick with me at all times they fit perfectly in there I think I'm kind of honestly probably pushing it but I have this travel size spray from Victoria's Secret it's nicely in there as well and I still have some room to put in some things over here if you guys have small keys it would definitely fit in there I usually carry my keys in this Louis Vuitton six ring key holder or I'll just carry my key fob with me or something like that but this fits perfectly in there too so we got the card holder we have the perfume the chapstick and hand sanitizer down there and then we have the full-size wallet sorry the chapstick's right there but you can see that um, I can fit a little bit more on top I mean I still have some room to stuff on top but this is just pretty much what I would carry every day and let's see if it buttons because there is a button inside okay so I just tried buttoning it through this magnetic closure and it won't stay shut because it's too packed as you guys can see but let's see if I would take out this huge wallet and put a card holder in here let's see how much room I would have so with the card holder it actually closes really well and I had no issues or struggles closing it and I still have some room for some more things so a card holder definitely probably is the way to go with this bag so you can just have more room when you're carrying your items Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on my body. So right now, I'm in the corner of my room and this is um, how you would wear a crossbody. I'm five foot two and I weigh about 150 pounds. So this is how it lays and sits on me. Like I said, it's not adjustable. So if you're a little bit taller, it would land somewhere over here on you. If you're five foot four or above, I would estimate it, it would land right here on you. This is what it looks like with the straps tucked in. So cute and simple and I'm obsessed with it like this like how cute is this and I quickly want to compare this size bag to a couple of other bags that I have just in case if you guys are a little bit iffy on the size of it so this is the Prada Reedition 2005 bag and this is a really small bag but comparing it to the Telfer bag it's kind of similar in height if I'm going to be honest with you the Telfer bag is obviously more square but honestly I feel like you can fit more in the Prada bag but that's a quick size comparison sorry i just had to adjust my camera but i also want to compare it to this louis vuitton full-size wallet and this is the clements wallet you would not be able to fit a full-size wallet in there the wallet is too long for the back so hope that helps so that is all for the bag part so i will have this bag linked down below for you guys so you guys can check out the dimensions and the in stock status online i know sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get certain telfer color bags because a lot of robots resale companies try to snag a bunch so you have to pay anywhere from about 200 to 500 dollars for a bag that retails for 150 dollars. so it can be very difficult when trying to get one um when i got mine it honestly wasn't that difficult i kind of just at nine o'clock when it was the release i set an alarm on my phone so I made sure that my phone and my computer was up so I had a good chance of buying it and I didn't have any issues I got through the waiting line okay and then also the the checkout process was really easy and fast so I was able to get one but if you guys are wondering about the sellout point I wouldn't stress that much if you guys haven't gotten one and you guys are just waiting so if I were you guys if I had to give you any advice I wouldn't buy a Telfer bag from like StockX or anything like that just because I know that they're restocking a lot of their colors that they already released so there's a good chance that you can get your hands on one if you have any more questions you can dm me privately and i can answer them for you all right so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you found today's video helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified whenever i upload a new video but i'm going to wrap up today's video and i will see you guys in my next one bye